it's slushy, it's going to be this Okay, kind of so people, we're just up here in the lounge watching the overview of all the bs -ery. So now the bobcat is stuck. The guy's using the bucket and trying to push himself and do whatever. Um, these people need to chill. They need to let things be things. And, okay, if, you know, if, if you can't, if you can't get pulled out um, or back out, what you're not holding anybody, anybody but yourself up. You, look, let the bobcat do his work. Don't take a shovel and think you're going to be a hero. You know, just wait. So, but the bobcat got stuck, and he's trying to push himself out now. See, he don't have chains. Just so you know, by the way, people, most people with bobcats that do this type of work have chains on the wheels. He has no chains. So he's got a rubber tire piece of equipment, and he's digging himself probably deeper. But we'll see. Ah, he almost up. Nope, nope. This is great. Yeah, yeah, he's he might get out of that because he does have the bucket to help him, but he needs chains on his tires. Every bobcat that ever bobcatted, I'm just saying. Has to chain. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm, the first bobcat doing this type of stuff that I've seen. And I think they come with them when you rent them. I think they even come with chains when you rent them. Maybe they're when a bobcat is born, it comes with chains. No, I'm just saying. So yeah, so he's okay. He's free. He's free, but he's realizing the, the you got to realize your limitations. So I realized my limitations, and I'm going to tell you. Um, they're going to need to scrape in front of all of these trucks before any of these trucks. Yeah. I don't get why my trainer's in such a big hurry to get out of here because Minnesota, they, their governor shut everything down. He had to be natural daughter. They had 31. Hey, wait. Come here and say that on camera. Say that. Say what you just said. Come here. Come here. You're just Minnesota? saying it. Yeah, yeah say Minnesota, it real close to here. Minnesota's Speak governor up. shut everything down. He called in the National Guard. They had 31 jackknife trucks in one area. 31 jackknife trucks in one area, and the Minnesota governor called it a state of emergency and called in the National Guard. What else do you know? That's, Any more intel? That's all I know. That's what I found out from my wife. This is a trainee that's smart enough to say, wait a second, the trainer's nuts for making me. That's going to be, he, you're going to make a good driver. That's common sense. You yeah, know. My, my wife keeps me informed. Other than me looking at my weather apps and that, she keeps me informed of where I'm, what's going on in the area I'm going into. Yeah. Yeah, so this guy here, he's been needing to be shoveled out. If you make a road, people, you won't have this issue if you make a road. But he has been sitting there the whole time, and he's got other people shoveling him out. So it's ridiculous. <laughs> Blocking up the roadway to the back. So, you know, look. There's still people on the fuel aisle. You know, the cab over with the double still on the fuel aisle. They they got sense. They're like, man, there's no reason yeah, for this. Not until they clean up the whole parking lot. The Volvo, he's stuck. All he was doing was spinning. Yeah, well, he needs the Bobcat to get in front of him and scrape the stuff. You cannot possibly just, oh, I'm going to leave. When there's a whole drift in front of you or whatever. No, 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 no. Not happening, people. You got to let the Bobcat do his work. You got to let them do the work on the roads. They're starting to move some of them on the road. That guy's doing a little bit too much of a clip for that to be a highway. You know, with with the ice and stuff that even though they scraped it off. I think they're trying to do about 55 out there. That's what I think. If I was judging the speed, but So yeah, and even in between trucks they're trying to scrape. I'm not going to be the one to pull my truck out and not have a spot. I'm not going to be the one to pull my truck out and get stuck, or I'm not going to be the one to pull my truck out and then the the person behind me moves whatever and goes to pull that truck out, and if I go back into my spot, then that person pulling the guy out backwards next to me could slide him into my truck. I need that parking spot, and everybody else does too. The bobcat needs to do his work so these people can pull out. They need to stop acting like other people's parking spots are a road, you know. But this is some, this is some mess. And it's Friday, so unless you're going to deliver today, you're not going to get paid today. So being a hero today is not going to change a damn thing. So if. Also, if that guy that needs pulling out with that chain, if the bobcat will scrape in front of him, 
scrape all that stuff, and he will eventually, then it'll clean up his path. Kiwi needs cut out. Everybody needs cut out, and they got that little bobcat, and he seems aimless. He seems like he doesn't even know which direction he's going. Maybe he's trying to take care of one situation back over there. I don't know. But usually, and this is a mom and pop, and they're doing good, but usually they will have a really big rubber tire um, pivoting bodied uh, bucket. So... I gave you a pretty good view of the back anyways. And it's uh it's awesome from here, just saying. I'm gonna end this one with that. But it takes that bobcat doing his job. That's all I got for right now. I'm gonna go check on my ride. I'm out. Peace.